Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to the Live Inspired Podcast Monday Morning Moments with John O'Leary. As you know by now, you've been partying with us for long enough to know that we record each of these so that you and I can begin our weeks and these days in awe and on fire with a burst of inspiration. Let's start at this one with a quote from Shauna Nequist. True hospitality is when someone leaves feeling better about themselves, not better about you. So earlier this month, I had the honor of recording a live podcast with legendary actor William H. Macy. It was at his house. While his house was most certainly stunning, the views of the mountains and the distance were magnificent, and the evidence of a wildly successful career were scattered throughout the house. It wasn't any of that stuff that impressed me. Instead, what fascinated me most from our visit is something desperately needed from our leaders today. Let me explain. Traveling with my son and with my wife, we pulled our rental car in front of a stately house. Before we even got out of the car, the front door opened. Bill Macy stepped out. He waved. He came strolling toward our car, proclaiming that he was glad we made it. He gave my wife and he gave me hugs. Then he shook our son Jack's hand warmly before ushering all of us into his house. My friends, this is an extremely busy man who was kind enough to make a little bit of time for us to record a podcast with him. As we came out of the cold and into his front hall, Bill asked if he could brew some tea to warm us up. And asking my son how he takes his tea, he learned that Jack O'Leary had never had a cup of tea. Playfully acting aghast that Jack had never enjoyed tea, Bill insisted he would make it his favorite way with a little maple syrup and some fresh orange squeezed right into it. He then guided the three of us back into the kitchen. And so began our visit with William H. Macy. Visiting around the kitchen islands, the prolific actor nominated for more than 76 acting awards was more interested in Jack's hobbies than in those awards. Although he's happily married to a woman of incredible talent and prestige, Bill was sincerely interested in Beth, my wife's work as an occupational therapist. The man who had just finished shooting On Fire, who had just completed that very day writing a script for a new movie, and was heading out the following week to begin working on another new project, was more curious about my speaking business than chatting up and celebrating his projects. My friends, as things progress through this calendar year, and as the production and then ultimately the release of the film On Fire comes to clarity, we'll be sharing with you the Live Inspired podcast episode featuring William H. Macy. And during that episode, you're going to learn about his parents. You'll learn about his upbringing. You're going to learn about his brother who got him into performing live. You're going to love that story. You're going to learn about why he loves theater, where he learned to act, how the movie Fargo changed his career path. You'll hear what he loved about the script for On Fire, why he was so motivated to portray Jack Buck, and how he hopes people attending the movie might benefit ultimately from it. But as we sat around his kitchen island and before even hitting record on the Live Inspired podcast, we had already received a master class in what makes William H. Macy one of the most beloved actors in the business. You ready for it? His genuine care for others, his humility regarding the gifts that he has received, his passion for the work he does, and his joyful gratitude for the family he has and the life he leads. Several hours after arriving at his house, we pulled away from it. Looking in the rear of your mirror, I saw Bill Macy at his front door waving goodbye. It became clear to me he possesses what we all ultimately desire. You ready for this? Such grateful conviction for the blessings in his life that he's able to invest the time and the energy not only to continually improve within his chosen craft, but to make those around him feel loved and appreciated in theirs. So many stars walking the red carpet, love waving, and they love smiling. They love celebrating how great they are. And it's not just Hollywood actors who might desire that conversation, that attention, that camera to be focused just on them. 
being egocentric and being me first is a characteristic in many of us. Let's be honest about it. And yet, the most effective leaders, the most enjoyable friends, and the most lovely individuals we know think far less of themselves and far more how they can make the people around them better. They are humble. They are hospitable. They are kind. In other words, they are different. We leave the conversations with these different individuals feeling far more connected to them and far better about ourselves. It has served as an effective strategy for the success of one of the great actors of our time. It is certain to benefit each of us in our endeavors too during our time. My friends, I challenge you today to be different on purpose. Be humble, be hospitable, be kind, and be ready because the best is yet to come. I want to thank you, yes you, for tuning into this episode. I want to thank you for knowing that the foundation is firm. The headwind is indeed real. But the best is yet to come. So for this time and until next time, my name is John O'Leary. Today is your day. Live inspired.